Blues hosting the Flyers, and the Flyers are plus 115 on the money line. The Blues are minus 135. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Flyers getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 220, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, or if they only lose the game by one, you would win. The Blues laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 180, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Both of these teams are on losing streaks. The Flyers are three game. The Blues are two game. So that's going to change tomorrow. Now, these are the way overnight odds. The games that have to be played today have yet to be played. So use a site like VegasInsider.com. It is totally free and allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings in one place, whether you bet online or in person. And then go to a website like Covers.com. It'll have every gambling stat known to man. It'll also have what players were on the ice, what players were in net, and what players may or may not be playing in tomorrow's game. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4. and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The Flyers have won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog has won the last two games they played against each other. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There's only been one one-goal game in their last 10 meetings, so generally if the favorite wins, the favorite wins by two, and if the underdog wins, well, the underdog doesn't really lose uh, win by one the over is five four and one and the over under at six and a half goals is five and five the last game they played the flyers won five to one the game before that the flyers won five to two the game before that the blues won four to one as a favorite the game before that the flyers won four to three in overtime as an underdog so there was the one one goal game now in their last handful of games overall the flyers have lost their last three they're five and five in their last ten the over is 7-3 in their last 10. We've had 6 goals, 9 goals, 9 goals, and 5 goals. The Flyers have scored 2, 3, 4, and 3. They've scored at least 3 goals in 9 out of their last 10 games. And by they, I mean the Flyers. So they've actually been scoring lately. Now for the Blues, they are 6-4 in their last 10. The over has hit in their last 7 games and the over is 8-2. So this is going to tell you something about what's going to happen tomorrow. We've had 7 goals, 7 goals, 8 goals, and 11 goals. That's the Blues' last 4 games. They've scored 3, 1, 5, and 6. And 2 of their last 4 games have gone into overtime or a shootout. I expect that something like this is going to happen because people are just going to sleep on the Flyers. And they're going to, you know, I don't want to say play up to their opponent, but they'll play better than people will expect. I'm going to take the Flyers with the money line. I'm going to take the Flyers getting the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.